Hey guys, so hopefully this technology is working and you can hear me. I'm going to explain insulin resistance. So when the pancreas, when you eat, your pancreas secretes insulin right here, and that attaches to glucose. And this molecule right here needs to get into the cell. So this big circle is the cell. And it creates something called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Don't worry about that. Just think energy. So this, when this molecule gets in, it creates energy. However, if this molecule cannot get into the cell because the receptor site with this X is resistant to this molecule, well, then this molecule can't get in. And that's what we call insulin resistance. In other words, the insulin is not getting into the cell to create the energy. Now, it's kind of like you have the, a key, but you don't have the right lock. So if this molecule cannot get into the cell, you can't create energy. Okay. Now, this molecule can't get in, what happens? It's going to create a backup. So if there's more glucose in the cell, is your blood sugar going to be higher or lower when you take it? Well, obviously higher. That's why you're on blood sugar medication. Now, I mentioned before the diabetic cocktail. Well, why are you on the diabetic cocktail? Or your doctor tells you, well, eventually you're going to be needing it. Well, if there's a bunch of gunk in your bloodstream, this is an artery because this couldn't get in and backed up. Is it going to require more or less pressure to push the gunk through? More high blood pressure. That's why the majority of you are on a high blood pressure medication. And now if this molecule stays in here too long, it turns into cholesterol. And that's why your cholesterol is high. So this is the diabetic cocktail, blood sugar, blood pressure, and cholesterol. And, and I hopefully I've said this before that Diabetes is not a blood sugar problem. It's a blood flow problem. Now, those of you who are on insulin, pay close attention because if your pancreas is secreting enough insulin and we can test for it, and in over 20 some years, I've never had a patient tell me who's on insulin that they have had this test done to see if their pancreas is secreting enough insulin. For this scenario, we're going to assume that it is and 99 times out of 100, it is when we test this. So if you're secreting plenty of insulin, but the insulin you're producing can't get into the cell, which is creating backups, then if I give you insulin from the outside, i.e. more insulin, did I just make this problem better or worse? And hopefully I've explained it well enough that you know it's worse. Now, this doesn't give you permission to stop taking your insulin, obviously, but hopefully this gives you a little insight to the philosophy. So what our job is to figure out how to get this insulin into the receptor sites and reduce or eliminate this insulin resistance. And we, yes, we can do that.